All right, Jordan McLeod, welcome to Cart Rides with Kim. Let's do it. As we go around campus chatting about all things that fans would like to know. Gotcha. Yeah, we don't hit this girl in the street. Okay, we're off. Jordan, tell the people about yourself first. Um, my name is Jordan McLeod. I'm from Tampa, Florida. I play quarterback here at Arizona. And I'm ready to win some games. <gasps> ready to win some games. Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay, we've got some questions in this hat from fans that sent in on Twitter. Okay. Pull one out. What do we got first? All right. Why, did, why did I pick Arizona? Okay. Uh, when I transferred from South Florida, Arizona, I wanted to play like a power five football. Um, I wanted like a different scenery, so obviously this is a different coast, West Coast. And uh, Arizona is actually a school that, in high school, my uh, cousin was getting recruited at, and it's something that I, I liked about it. And uh, Coach Fisher's offense is like perfect for like, you know, like so many NFL teams running. So it's just getting used to it and being able to play in that system. What about it is perfect? Is it just because of the NFL factor? Is um, there something about it? Just that it's so many things to it. Like it's so many different elements to it. Like the way. We make defenses, you know, like it's just like an illusion to everything and stuff like that. Okay, good. All right, what's next? All right. Um, what has been the biggest transition from high school? It's been a while. It's been a while, but the, probably the biggest one was just uh, time management. Yep. In high school, you have school, then practice, then you go home, you can do whatever you want. Here, you have so much free time, you can get lost in certain things. That makes sense. Yeah, especially yep. in the off season. I think that's exactly what CY said. Yeah. Is it too much free time? Which is crazy. Yeah, that's a lot of free time. We're spending our free time doing this. Yep. There we are. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Uh, does pineapple go on pizza? Absolutely. <gasps> yes! Absolutely. What's your daily diet? Mmm, that's a good one. Uh, normally I eat breakfast, so like eggs or pancakes or something like that. And then whatever, I guess whatever they give us, normally it's like a chicken sandwich or something, a grilled chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Uh, then dinner switches or after workouts is like Chipotle or something like that. Mo for the most part, that's what I eat. I love Chipotle or Chick-fil-A. Yeah. And then dinner switches with like Josh Donovan is my roommate. And he's a great cook, so oh, it switches, he? yeah. What does he make that's good? He make, He's good on the grill, so any kind of meat. Okay. Yeah. I think I've seen some of that. Um, a little plug with Chipotle. Keon told me that sometimes Keon bars that he eats Chipotle twice a day sometimes. Ah, and he said if you really knew me that he you know that he just loves Chipotle. Did that's you know a little that too much. Him? I didn't know that about okay. him. Well, I guess, I guess he didn't, I didn't really, know, really Keon. know Keon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got? What celebrity would you rate as a perfect 100? Mm. 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 Probably Rihanna. Oh my gosh, that's what Keon said. Yeah, probably Rihanna. He's the only other one that got that question. And she, yeah. got, she got the whole package. Yeah, he said Rihanna in her prime, and I was like, her prime? She's always in her prime. Yeah, like, She's great. She can sing, dance, looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. so. Good person I've heard as well. Yeah. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? That's a good one. Um, probably like transporting, be anywhere I want to be at any time. That's kind of hard, I don't know. Okay, I feel like you and Keon need to hang out more because he literally is answering the exact same. <laughs> I'm serious, he said teleporting. Yeah, I mean, so that's the best So he'd be able to go thing. home. And yeah, I'd be able to go to, home whenever yeah, I want. Yeah, seriously. I want dinner tonight at home, I can just yes, teleport. snap my fingers. So yeah, okay. definitely teleport. Uh, pit stop while I get this question. All right, pit stop. Pit stop, because we don't litter. Waves coming in. Okay. Who was your biggest influence on your decision to come to Arizona? Um, probably God and my parents. Okay. Yep, for sure. Yep. My parents. Um, I say college. Uh, my first college was more of a 50-50 decision between my parents and I, but this one was more like trusting in my faith. Yeah. And they were just trusting me that I picked the right place. So okay. Definitely say that. What did you trust about it? What did you feel? I don't know, like, and it was weird too, cause this is like I was trying to get here so bad, like I, and then I'm talking to Coach Doherty, we're going over stuff, and the day Coach Fish called me, he was like, um, saying like hard man to get a hold of or something, I don't know, something like that, and then he was like, let me know that I had a scholarship here, and then right on spot, I was like, Coach, I want to commit. So you just knew. Yeah. 
Alright, told you, huh? Yep. I told you. Good.